Shay 45 is the morning after, and I'm Angela Heath. Ooh. And Freddie Gibbs is here with me. And this thing, drinking coffee Patron, dog. And that was PSA. <laughs> Who's that song for? A lovely young lady who has some amazing pussy. Right. Amazing. <laughs> is that enough to make you stay? Nah, definitely not. Pussy not enough, man. You gotta be like... I was just telling my nigga this the other day. Like, I, I don't really wanna... I, I wouldn't fuck with no chick that ain't like... You know, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, a female gotta be kind of like a kind of blue collarish, you know what I'm saying? Like they, I don't want to fuck with no chick that don't like clean Work. her own one bedroom apartment and shit like that. If you hire a maid to clean your one bedroom apartment, I can't fuck with you. Why? It's just you know it ain't. I just you know I want to fit. And you don't necessarily gotta work. You don't gotta work like no in no you know no post office job or no shit like that. It's just you know I just. I you think know. you want a regular chick? Yeah. Somebody I, I low maintenance. Somebody that's not high maintenance. Definitely, definitely. I mean, you could want nice shit and like nice shit. Cause I do too, but like. At the same time, I just, you know, I don't like them prissy ass. I can't stand but you in Hollywood. I know. That's why I can't stand this shit. <laughs> I'm flooded with that shit, man. I'm tired of that shit. I just want like a regular ass, you know, everyday nine to five type female. Man. It's cool. Well, why don't you want to go back to Gary, Indiana then? I do go back to Gary. I go back home a lot. And I got a lot of girls in Gary, too. <laughs> you got a lot of girls in Gary, too. Uh, do girls be fighting over you and stuff and all this? Um, Not as of late, nah. Not as of nah. late? Try to keep it cool. I don't like, you know. Are you honest with them? Like, look, just so you know, it's not. Extremely honest. Extremely honest. Brutally that, honest. That sometimes causes problems. Yeah, I bet it does. Definitely causes problems. But I mean, you know, what can I do about it? I mean, they, you don't want me to lie to you. Now, I also know about you that you've been on probation for this gun charge. Are you off probation yet? Yeah, two gun charges. Two gun charges. Yeah. Um, no, nah, I'm not off probation yet. I'm almost still on probation in California. I uh, caught a gun charge back home, and then I went out to L.A. and caught one. So I'm still on papers for that. What is that for? Just having a gun on you? Yeah, carrying a legal strap. Why do you have a gun on you? Um, just wondering, is there something in particular, any particular reason, or just for I mean, general you know, safety? Things I was doing, I think, you know, that I had to have a strap. Mm -hmm. You know, so I just carried it at all times. You know, that's just the mentality. It's, it's the culture, you know what I mean, that I come from. You know, like Gary, it's like, you know, it's kind of like the Wild Wild West. You can carry a gun legally, like. You know, no problem. Everybody got, you know, people show their guns. So it's like, you know, whenever, in any area I move to, I just got to, you know, just get hip to the laws. You know, out here you can't carry a gun. I live, you know, in Atlanta you can carry guns, stuff, but, you know. But it has to be registered. Was it registered nah, to you? Nah, nah, Okay, well, you know you can't do that anywhere. Yeah, yeah, just, <laughs> <laughs> just so you know. Yeah, you know, I'm just going to do what I do, so, you know. But, you know, I'm here to talk. I'm not in jail, so, you know, it's a blessing. I ain't tripping. I know. You know if I would have been, like, a California resident, then. I still be in jail right now, but like since I was from Indiana, they, you know, shouts out to my lawyer too, you know what I mean. But uh, they gave me the benefit of the doubt, you know, and let me continue my career and do what I had to do. So. That must have been a wake up call too. It was definitely a wake up call, man, because you know I was, you know, I had been getting in trouble and shit, but it was like, look, this could be the last straw, you know what I mean. And um, I thought, you know, when I was in LA County, I was like, damn, man, I could be there for a minute, you know. But uh, I'm just glad that, uh, you know, I got the opportunity to stay out, you know, so I ain't tripping. I know. You seem like you're in pretty good spirits right now. Yeah, I mean, I know you had you have the EP coming out soon, the mixtape July 29th is coming out. Mm -hmm. We're getting to play and, and listen to some exclusive music up here. It's like our own listening since we missed yesterday. I know, man. I forgot. Like I said, it's the weed, man. It's the weed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, listen, sir. We appreciate you so much for coming through. Freddie Gibbs. I appreciate y'all having me. I appreciate y'all letting me come here and talk shit about these rap niggas and shit. It's love, man. You didn't talk shit about nobody. I did. I said, fuck Jay Mills. Bust ass nigga. What? I'm in your city, nigga. See me. Okay. <laughs> and you know you don't got no gun on him, too, right? <laughs> yeah, no, he no oh, he don't have a gun. Uh, I'm, I'm heavy out here, my nigga. I got niggas out here. I do, I've been doing my shit in New York, you know what I mean? So, niggas know me out here, man. So, I ain't really worried about no, especially no rapper niggas. I don't beef with no rapper niggas. You're only supposed to beef on record. You're not supposed to beef in person. It ain't beef. That's the rule. Beef is different. Man. This is definitely not beef. This some total rap shit, you know what I mean? These niggas is WWF. Well, they're not on my level, so I don't really, really consider this beef at all. Sometimes people say things, though, that, and they don't really mean it, like how it comes out. That's what I think. Sometimes people just talk, agree. and they're like, who the fuck is these niggas? I'm not on there. My nigga Vado's not on here, you know? Oh, yeah, I like Vado shit. Vado got good music. But, uh, you know, gay meals, I don't really fuck with this shit. <laughs> Damn, Jay Mills, why'd you I mean, do you know, it? niggas just shouldn't, don't say nothing about, look, man, niggas in the, word to you niggas in the industry, man, Gary niggas do not stop, and we do not give a fuck. You know what I mean? I'm just the first taste of the, you know, Gary niggas y'all gonna see, but, uh, you know, don't fuck with Gary niggas, man. Just, 
You know, y'all don't know us like that. We don't, I'm going to show y'all what we're about. Is know? Gary supportive of you? Or you know how yeah. sometimes they say when you leave a place and you're like the one person from there, people hate on you? Oh, yeah. Niggas, of course, be hating. But, you know what I mean, for the most part, it's love. You know what I mean? That's my hometown. I go, you know, whenever I go home, it's, it's love, man. You know what I mean? And I, I feel proud that I'm from there. I'm glad I ain't from nowhere else. You know what I mean? A lot of niggas can't go there. You know what I mean? So... You know, it's love, man. Everybody in the G show me love. I'm, like, in the paper every week now, so it's cool, man. All my family back home, you know, the love always outweigh the hate. You're going to get bust-ass niggas that's going to hate. Them be the, them probably just, like, niggas that rap and shit, but, like, <laughs> everyday common niggas, you know, they don't trip. All right. I'm so angry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, again, Freddie Gibbs, thank you so much. And make sure you get it. Straight Killer No Filler mixtape July 29th and a Straight Killer EP August 3rd. Yes, After that, Devil's Palace, that's the project with Alchemist that you've been working on. Yeah, definitely. I'll get in the lab, nigga. Let's get it. Send me some beats. Shade 45.